Hello everyone! In today's video we will be covering some of the dock cases from the speed solving wiki and they're labeled under the no edges flipped category but basically they're the dock cases and there's two kinds in my mind there's the straight dock cases where you just have a dot and none of your other pieces are oriented and then you have some where you have a dot and then a couple corners oriented correctly so here's a dot and a couple corners oriented correctly and we won't be going over those in this video that will be the next one I wanted to break it out into two separate videos so we will be covering your straight dot cases and there's only two of these and they're relatively easy to recognize because they both have a bar on the side of them and one of them will have another bar on the other side so you have a bar and a bar or you'll have a bar and then two pairs here so you have a pair here and a pair here and we've actually gone over this one in one of our T case videos so let's get started The first case we're going to cover is case number one from the speed solving wiki, and that's when you have your bar here and your bar here. And there's two ways we're going to solve this case. And this case is easy to recognize because if you have a dot, from any angle you'll see a bar and a dot, a bar and a dot, a bar and a dot, or a bar and a dot. So it's it's you can recognize this with uh, two faces pretty pretty easily. And we're going to orient it so the bars are on the left and the right. And what we're going to do, the, the easy way to remember how to do this one, is we're going to take a one of your front pairs out with a U2 move. We're going to sledgehammer this. Pretend this is a pair here. We're going to sledgehammer it. And then we're going to insert this with a sledgehammer. So we'll move this back over, insert it with a sledgehammer, and that'll solve the case. So again, take it out with a U2, sledgehammer, insert it with a sledgehammer. So you have to do a U2 move in order to insert it with a sledgehammer. And that will solve this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a... I always do the front right pair, but you can do the front left pair if you want. doesn't matter. Take it out with a U2. Sledgehammer. And then in order to sledgehammer this in, you have to U2 and then sledgehammer it in. And that solves that case. So again, take it out with a U2. Sledgehammer. U2. And then insert it with a sledgehammer. Again, orient your pieces left and right. Take it out with a U2. Sledgehammer, U2, and then insert it with the sledgehammer, and that solves that case. And one more time, orient the bars on the left and the right. I'll take this out with a U2, sledgehammer, U2, and then insert. So how we're going to do the finger movements on this one is you want to do the U2 with the opposite hand that you're taking the pair out with. So if you if we're taking this one out, we want to lift this up, U2, sledgehammer, U2 sledgehammer. So you're u 2 with the opposite hand that's doing the sledgehammers. So if you're doing it with this one, we will lift this up, U2, sledgehammer, U2, sledgehammer. So one more time, U2, sledgehammer, U2, sledgehammer. So it's just U2, sledgehammer, U2, sledgehammer. So U2, sledgehammer, U2, sledgehammer. But you're just taking it out with the first U2. And at speed, we're left and right. The next way we're going to solve this case is a little more complicated than the first, but it I think it's the better way to solve the case, so I'll put the ALG here on the screen. And we're going to do something similar to what we did for the Super Lightning Bolt cases, where we're doing a lot of um, fat R moves, and we'll do some D moves in the process. And basically what we're going to do, though, is we're going to take this pair out and make it an easy case, and then we're going to place this corner in the lower left-hand corner, or the opposite version of this. We're going to lower it and then do a D move. So that's kind of the first half of this out. And then we're going to perform, if you take this pair out, this green, red, white pair here, so if you take that out, we're basically going to insert that. So if you pretend that there is a pair sitting here, that's this pair, and then we need to insert this pair sideways here, all we do is we rotate the top up, or the fat R up, makes our block we move it over and lower it. So that's just taking that pair from here and inserting it sideways right here. I hope that makes sense. So that's all we're going to do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pretend there's a pair here and then insert it like that and then undo our D move. And then now we have an easy move. It's just two moves away. So if you fix your cross, then it's an easy move and then we'll reinsert. I know that's a lot, but we'll go over it. So we'll take this out, make an easy move or easy pair. We'll put this here. So we have to lower it and then move it over. And then we're going to pretend we're inserting this pair here. And then move this back. And then 
if you fix your cross, it sets up your easy case. But if you're like this, you can see this is an easy case if you just do an R2 and then swing it into place and then lower it. So again, we're going to create our easy case, put it here, pretend that we're insert a pair here, undo your D move, and then you can fix your cross and then solve this, or if you think about it, there's a, it's just an R2 and you pull it into place. So again, we'll create your easy case, move this over here, insert this pair, move this back, and then insert. So it's a more regripless of an alg, and I think it flows a little nicer than the double sledgehammer with, with uh, one hand. So this is the one that I do when I'm solving this case. And how you orient the case on this one is you place your bars to the on, in the front or the back. So you're, you're facing them this way, and then you're going to start doing this on one of your front faces. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pair out. We're going to put this piece down here. We're going to pretend that we're inserting this one sideways here. I'll fix our D. And then this is your easy case. Solves that. Solves that case. So one more time, we'll just kick it out, lower it, put it over, insert this one here, fix that, and then reinsert. So it's a, it's a pretty weird grip out. And how you would execute this one is we're going to take this pair out, then we're going to D here to, to put this, because we have to put it down and move it over, so we'll put it down and then we'll D here, and then we're just going to move our hands over just a little bit so we can grab both faces. We're going to pull here to insert this block. Our D sitting right here, or our ring finger sitting right here, so we're just going to pull. And then now you see we have these two, so we're just going to up, pull, and down. So again, pull it out. And it's here, we gotta put it down here, so we'll lower, D, do the insert, undo your D, and then pull on. And that solves the double line case. So the first part of this ALG, when you're doing it, the first part really is to take it out, and then R2, D, to put it down here. So we're taking this, we're taking this pair, and basically what we're doing is we're taking this pair and putting the edge here, and the corner piece here, and you do that by doing a one of those, and then one of those. And then we're going to reinsert this, or reinsert this pair sideways, under your D, and then reinsert your, your block. So your setup move for this one is set this pair up, move it over, that's your setup move, and then you're going to insert this pair sideways, and then you're going to undo your setup move. And that solves this case where you have a line and a line, and Undo D. Solve your case. And at speed, where you have your line and your line. The other case we're going to cover is case number two from the speed solving wiki. And this is where you have your bar and then you have two blocks next to each other. So if you're full line here, you have a little two bar here and a two bar here. So there's only one version of this, you know, you can, you only have to learn a left or right hand version. It's a symmetrical case. And there's two ways to solve this. The easy way to solve this case is if you do a, if you orient it like this, where you have your bar and you place it on the left or the right, and then from the other side of your bar, you do a T1 case and then a fat T1 case. We'll orient it like this. We'll do a F move, sexy move there, and then undo your F move. And this will give you the P case. And the P case is solved by doing a fat front move, and then a sexy move on this corner, and then undo your fat front move, and that solves that case. So that's the easy way to solve that case. And how you would execute that is you would just regrip, F move, and then you can either undo your F to do a your fat version, or you can, so it solves this case here, or you can front sexy move, and then instead of doing this, then this, you would just do, you would hold your finger here and then do an F move here. But it, it's kind of up to you. It, it depends on how how you do your your T perms or your T cases, rather. Uh, most of the time I just do an F sexy move and then we do the, the fat version. But you can do F middle and up 
So again, we'll orient it like this so it's on the left. Then we'll do a most of a T1 and then middle and then move up. So you can cancel a couple moves out. I don't know if the M move is really worth it. Uh, it's just kind of personal preference for you. The other way we're going to solve this case is actually the inverse of case number one. So case number one, we took it out with a U2 sledgehammered and then inserted it with a sledgehammer. Well, we're actually going to do the exact opposite of that. So we're going to take it out with a head slammer, U2, head slammer, and then reinsert it with a U2. So it's just the exact inverse of 1A, where we the first one we did where we took it out and reinserted it. And in order for that to work, you need to put your bar on the right. So we're going to place our bar on the right, and then you have your two sets of two here, and you have your full line on the right, and then we'll head slammer to take the pair out. We'll U2, and then head slammer again, and then insert this with the U2. So if you raise U2. And then down. So it's the exact inverse of the other dot case. So if you if you learn that one thing, you you can solve both of your dot cases. So your first dot case was a U2 sledgehammer insert sledgehammer. Well, this one is hedge slammer U2 hedge slammer insert with a U2. So it's the exact inverse of the first one, uh, and I think it flows really nicely. And there's not a, a real easier way to to solve this one. This is the one that I use most of the time. I use the T one occasionally, but this is the one I use most of the time for this case, where it's just the exact inverse of your other dot case where you have both of your lines. So again, we will head slammer, U2, head slammer, insert with a U2. Head slammer, U2, head slammer, insert with a U2. And it's completely regripless, and when you do this, you want to head slammer, U2, Head slammer, and then all the way up to U2 again. So, head slammer U2, head slammer U2 insert. So it's a pretty quick alg. Uh, you can execute it regriplessly, and um, you know it's just the inverse of the other one. So you only really have to learn one to to get both of these cases. And that speed. So when we're solving our last F2L pair, so we have all of our others solved, and then we have our last pair and we're about to insert it, you can always skip a dot case. You don't have to get a dot case. So if you notice that you have a, a pair here and then none of your ed edges are oriented, we don't really care about these, but you will look at your four edges. And if you notice that none of these are oriented, you can always not get a dot case. And you would do this because dot cases are typically slower than some of the other cases, so you want to kind of force some edge orientation to get a better case, a better OLL step. And how you do that is instead of just inserting this pair like you normally would, because you notice you still have a dot case, if you sledgehammer this pair in, it will reorient some pieces and then you'll get a different case. And in this case, it's a P case, so it's an easier case. If you notice that you have a pair and then a dot, so your last thing is paired up and you have a dot, don't insert it like this. Insert it with a sledgehammer and that'll orient some pieces. Also, if you notice that you have this easy insertion, so you have the uh, different colors on top and you know it's just the regular three move insert well the same concept applies if you notice that you're about to insert this last pair into your slot and you just have a dot case instead of just inserting it like this insert it a different way and you will reorient some edges and the way that i normally alternatively insert this one is if you place it back here and then you can pair it up kick it in the slot and pull it in and that gives you that orient some edges as well and it gives you a better case so again if you have your uh, easy case, so this is case three and four from the speed solving wiki, and you notice you have a dot case, instead of just inserting it normal, well, you'll still get a dot case, you want to reinsert some edge or reorient some edges, so you would orient it like this, pair it up, place it in the slot, and then reinsert. And that's just one of the basic insertions for this case, but all you're doing is forcing a couple edges to be flipped, changed around, so, and if you, if that's not comfortable for you, if you have this case and you notice there's a dot, we'll just pair it up and don't insert it, just get it out of the way and then sledgehammer it in. So if you can't remember the other way, then well, now we have a lot uh, oriented. So just something to keep in mind, you don't ever have to get a dot case. You can always avoid a dot case. So it's important to understand why that works. And you want to do that because dot cases are slower than some of the other cases. Because most of the time a dot case is, is a combination of two or three of the other uh, OL 
cases anyways. So if you can get another case, then it's, it's probably a little bit faster. So that's it for the standard dot cases. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. The next set of cases we're going to cover are your dot plus cases where you have a dot and then you have one of your corners oriented. So none of your edges are still oriented, but one of your corners will be. So you have two Mickey Mouse cases where you have a dot and two Mickey Mouses. You have a kind of a diagonal line case and then you just have a one off. So you have a dot and then one of your edges is oriented correctly. And we've actually covered both of these in previous videos, so we'll go re-go over those and then um, we'll cover this one as well. Until then, happy cubing!